everyone and welcome back to my channel Beth Chats Books with me Beth. Now today's video is going to be the part two of my June book haul so let's just get straight stuck into the book haul. So the first book I have to show you is Jack Corax On The Road. Now this edition is Penguin Modern Classics edition and I know that this book is centred around 1950s America um, it says on the back that it swings to the rhythm of 1950s underground American jazz, sex and drugs. So I know it kind of a gregarious text, um, but it's one of those that I've always wanted to read. It's always been on my radar. And I got this quite cheap online. I thought it would be something to tick off the list. It's always intrigued me. I know he's part of the, um, I wanna say the beat era in America. I'm not too well versed on that. So if anybody knows any more information and give me that down below, that would be amazing. But I have a brief outline that this is going to be um, kind of raunchy and very interesting, so I'm excited to read this. And then the second book I have to show you is Gabriel Garcia Marquez's Love in the Time of Cholera. Now this again is um, a renowned kind of classic to read. Um, I'm sorry about the stickers on the front, this is a secondhand copy and I tried to take the stickers off before I hauled these books but it was starting to peel off the front and I just thought it was easier to keep them on so just ignore the hideous stickers. Um, but I know this is about love, um, potentially in the time of cholera, you know? But I don't actually know so much about this one. I'm going into this pretty much blind and I've tried to sneak up a synopsis on the back but there's absolutely nothing but quotes. Um, but I know it's a love story and it's a classic. People tell you to read it so I bought it for that reason. And then the next one I have to show you is The Glorious Heresies by Lisa McInerney. Now, I believe this one won the Women's Bailey's Prize for Fiction last year, 2016. And I know that it's kind of a crimey novel. I know she's an Irish writer and it deals with Ireland. It's set in Ireland. Um, I don't know what era um, particularly. But it talks about Maureen on the back who didn't mean to kill a man and she, she enlists um, her a strange son to help her get rid of the body so I remember it's something kind of crimey but everybody said that it's also very humorous so it's only came on my radar both the author and this book since I've um, been following booktube and a lot of people really enjoyed this I don't think it was everyone's favorite on the long list and the short list last year but for some reason it, it must have been good enough to win so I would really love to read it and kind of find out what what it's all about really and and to join in the hype even if it is a year later and then the next one I have is Jean Rhys's Wide Sargasso Sea. Now I believe this is a prequel to Jane Eyre and it deals with the crazy um, first wife of Mr Rochester in the attic or the basement. I can't really remember where he housed her. But, um, and I think in this book she's called Antoinette but I don't think she is in, in actual Jane Eyre. It's been a long time since I've read that book. And this book is meant to follow the relationship of where he goes traveling and he finds the lady and he sets about marrying her. And apparently this, it, this kind of doesn't paint Mr. Rochester in the best light, I believe. Now I quite enjoy Mr. Rochester as a character. I think he's fascinating. And it will be quite interesting to see if my opinions change. A lot of people herald this book as a feminist text. And um, you know, it represents an underrepresented story within Jane Eyre. So it'll be really interesting to see if I like this book because I love Jane Eyre but I know that this can kind of divide a lot of lovers of Jane Eyre so that will be quite interesting. Then the next one I have is Daphne du Maurier's Jamaica Inn. Now when I was looking at my last haul I've mentioned that I have Rebecca and when I was looking online um, and these books were so cheap I came across this and I thought if I love her I want to continue reading her so the book nerd in me said just stock up just in case um, and this is in very good condition. Um, this one seems to not be everybody's favourite. A lot of people on BookTube rave about Rebecca. So I'm hoping that I don't have a problem with it, but apparently it's not as engaging potentially as Rebecca. But I wanted to give it a go because it's also one of Daphne du Maurier's books that is, is kind of on everybody's radar. And you hear the name and you think, I want to get involved in, in this hype, especially with Lauren over at Lauren the Books, raves about Daphne du Maurier. I felt like I need to start joining the hype, so I got another of her books. And then the next one I've got is A Thousand Splendid Sons by Khaled Hossini. Now I've mentioned him in a couple of other videos, and I've read The Kite Runner many, many, many years ago, and I have The Mountains Echoed in my room, which I haven't read yet. But everybody seems to say that this is their favourite one. 
and I was always, every time I go online shopping for books, I always kind of stumble across and think, well, maybe I should read the other one first, maybe I should reread The Kite Runner. But I saw it was really cheap on the website and I thought I'll just go for it because everybody says that this is their favourite. I know that I will enjoy this because he's got a beautiful writing style. And I think this one deals with two friends or sisters, definitely two women narrative and I quite like interlocking female narratives. So I think that'll be really good. I don't know too much about it. Um, so I can just read you the synopsis on the back so we can get a better idea together. So Mariam is only 15 when she's sent to Kabul to marry Rashid. Nearly two decades later, a friendship grows between Mariam and a local teenager, Layla, as strong as the ties between mother and daughter. When the Taliban takes over, life becomes a desperate struggle against starvation, brutality and fear. Yet love can move people to act in unexpected ways and lead them to overcome the most daunting obstacles with startling heroism. So that sounds really interesting to me. I love narratives set overseas and are definitely about places where there seems to be a kind of struggle, especially in regards to women and gender, because I find that fascinating. And even though it's a fiction, it's still very relevant today. So I think this will be a very, very interesting read and I highly anticipate this as a, a big star rating for me. So we'll, we'll see if that's true. And then the last one I have is Half of a Yellow Sun by Ch Chimamanda Ngochi Adichie. Now I'm sorry if I murdered that. I've been practicing how to say that properly because I know a lot of people say effortlessly and it's actually quite difficult for me to pronounce names so I apologise if I butchered that. Um, I really wanted to find Americana and read that one first but this one came up and everybody's been raving about her recently. One of her newest little kind of novellas, um, We Should All Be Feminists, has been going around booktube massively. And I kind of wanted to get in on the hype, so I thought if I could just grab any book of hers and start, I would. So if anybody in the comments is a big fan of hers, if they would comment below saying whether I should start with Americana or whether this one is fine to start with, or whether there's a, a different one that you would say is the best way to go into her, then that would be amazing. But I think a lot of people really enjoy her. She's becoming, um, fast becoming a lot of people's favourites on booktube. And I just wanted to read her and understand her a little bit more. Again, she seems to be heralded as a big feminist in the booktube community. And she's very well loved. So I don't know that much about this one. But I kind of don't want to know that much about this one. I just want to go into it blind. I know she deals with... Um, this says it's set in 1960s Nigeria. So I'm guessing that a lot of her books focus around Nigeria and different issues. This is talking about the civil war over there. Um... And yeah, so I just got this one purely because I wanted to get to know her writing style and see if she's someone that I will really like. So that's my final one. So that's it from part two of my June book haul. Part three will be coming up really soon and I've got another couple of videos coming out on the way. But I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you again soon. Bye.